Hello, how to solve t to the power of 2 times t to the power of 6 equals 3? We are solving for the value of t that will satisfy this equation. So we have solution right here. Now we can simply recall the problem. This is t to the power of 2 times t to the power of 6. And this equals 3. Now I can start by saying, let x equals t to the power of 6. Now at this point, I need to isolate t from here. So to, in order to isolate t, I will raise each part of this equation to the power of 1 over 6. Of x power 1 over 6 equals t power 6 raised to the power of 1 over 6. Now, if you have a to the power of n, raised to the power of n equals a power n times n. So I multiply this out. I'll we'll have x to the power of 1 over 6 equals t to the power of 6 times 1. That is 6 divided by 6, and 6 divided by 6 is 1. So from here, of x to the power of 1 over 6 equals t. Now I come over here. Remember, this t power 6 here is x, just like what we did here. So you have t to the power of 2x equals 3. And my t is x power 1 over 6, meaning that. This t, I'm going to replace it with x power 1 over 6. And this is raised to the power of 2x. And this equals 3. And recall, if you have a power x, raised to the power of y equals a power x times y. So let's multiply this out. I will have x power 2x times 1. This is 2x, this division sign here and 6 also, and this equals 3. 2 divided itself, how is divided 6? We have 3. So what we are going to have left is x to the power of x over 3 equals 3. Now to solve for x, I can decide to raise each part of this equation to the power of 3. So 3 will multiply this, you multiply this exponent, I'm going to have x power 3x divided by 3, and this equals 3 to the power of 3. And from here, 3 cancel 3, I have x power x equals 3 power 3. Now, if you have a power a equals b to the power of b, that means a equals b. So from here, I have x equals 3. Now, let's solve for t. Recall, x equals t power 6. That means x power 1 over 6 equals t. x power 1 over 6, x power 1 over 6 equals t. That means t equals x power 1 over 6. And our x is 3. That means t equals 3 power 1 over 6. Now, if you have a power 1 over n, this equals the n root of a to the power of 1, which is also the n root of a. So this will give us the 6 root of 3 power 1, which equals the 6 root of 3. This is our value for t. Now that we have gotten our value for t, what we can do will be to check. Remember, our t equals 3 power 1 over 6, or the 6 root of 3. Now let's recall we have t to the power of 2 times t to the power of 6 equals 3. And our t is 3 power 1 over 6. Let's check if this will satisfy the equation. T is 
3 power 1 over 6. Raise 3 power of 2 times 3 power 1 over 6 times 2 times t. And this is raised 3 power of 4, 6. And everything here equals 3. So we consider this identity a power n raised 3 power of n equals a power n times m. 1 over 6 times 6 is 6 over 1, is 6 over 6, and that will cancel as your discontinuation. I will simply have 3 to the power of 1 over 6. Raise 3 power of 2 times 3, because 6 cancels 6, and this equals 3. From here, 2 times 3 is 6, so we have 3 raised 3 power of 1 over 6. Raise 3 power of 6 equals 3. And right now we need to multiply this, remember? A power x raised 3 power of y equals a power x times y. 6 times 1 over 6 is 3 power 6 over 6 equals 3. And 6 over 6 here is 1. So we have 3. 3 power of 1 equals 3. And 3 to the power of 1 is 3. We have 3 equals 3. The push sides are the same. And this shows that our answer is obviously very correct. Now, I feel you can as well solve this using natural log. This is t power t power. What, what is the question again? 2t power 6 equals 3. For you to make use of natural log, what you need to do is, you say let x equals t power 6. That means you have t power 2x equals 3. Let's apply natural log and just try this. Natural log of t power 2x equals natural log of 3. I've not tried this before. Remember the property of log? If you have natural log of a power b equals b times natural log of a. So this comes behind this. That means you have 2x times natural log of t equals natural log of 3. And what is our x is t power 6, right? If x equals t power 6, that means we can isolate this t here. I have x power 1 over 6 equals t power 6 versus 3 power 1 over 6. I multiply this. That means t equals x power 1 over 6, right? If t equals x power 1 over 6, that means I need to replace it here. So let's check if this thing will actually work out. I have 2x times L n of t equals ln of 3. And this is 2x times ln of t is x power 1 over 6 equals ln of 3, right? And according to this property again, natural log of a power b is b times natural log of a. So this will come behind this. That means I'll have 2x times 1 over 6 times natural log of x equals ln of 3, right? 2x times 1, this is 2x divided by 6 times natural log of x equals natural log of 3, right? So, this divide this, is x over 3 of natural log of x equals natural log of 3. So, what do we do? We multiply each part of this equation by 3, right? So, this will be 3 times this. This is 3x divided by 3 times natural log of x equals 3 times this. It is natural log of 3, right? So look at this here, this cancel this. I have x times natural log of x equals 3 times natural log of 3. Well, that means x equals 3. By comparison, x is 3 because x times natural log of x is 3 times natural log of 3. That means that's our x. To solve for t, remember, 
I said s equals t power 6. s equals t power 6. x equals t power 6. And what is our t? There is an equation that we had earlier on like that. t equals x power 1 over 6, right? And also t equals x power 1 over 6, right? And our x is 3. So t equals 3 power 1 over 6. And this is the 6th root of 3. Well, this method is also absolutely correct because it actually corresponded to this particular method we used earlier. Look at it here. So any method, natural log or any method you want to do it, it's fine. Thank you and goodbye.